Can't wait. <laughs> nice to How see you. How are you? I'm fine. What nice. a beautiful sight oh. to behold. Thank you and thanks Come to you. Come sit down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Molly. Yeah, I'm so glad you're in town. Oh, yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, <laughs> thank you. to you. How was your trip to Dubai? I hope the money I sent you was enough. Enough? It was yeah. more than enough. I swear I shopped till I could shop no more. If you see my store now, hmm. Selfridges does not hold a candle to it, trust me. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you, but you, you see, I'm not nice. here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about you. How are you? I'm fine. How is business? Uh, business has never been better. <laughs> so by that, I take it that you clinched the last deal we talked about? But which one is that? Um, there was one you mentioned uh, between you and uh, some bishop guy. Blood oh, yes. I now have the blood diamonds in my care. But the bishop is off it. <laughs> what happened? Not for you to bother. It's all business. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. That's fine by me. Yeah. So, tell me. Are the diamonds here? Yes, yes, yes. Can I see? No. Not for your eyes now. First thing first. <laughs> I've missed you. I want to have you now. <laughs> come, come to me now. No problem. I've missed you too. Let's get started. I have a special treat for you. Good, good, yeah. I have a treat for you. Oh, I can treat for it. <laughs> Can a waitress bring up a bottle of red wine? Yes. And note, I said waitress. Thank you. Babies here? All six of them. Oh. Oh. Let me. Oh, of course. Hmm. Oh. 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 
I'm the son of a bitch. Sadiq has been taken care of. Good. It's sad. He was good to me. He was good to Monique. <laughs> Poor Sadiq. Oh, he should have listened to me. But what can I say? <laughs> like the world, he allowed greed to bring about his downfall. My dear, you will stay for dinner. It's been a long time since you graced my table. I'll be on. It will be nice to, to be seen to be back here in the Lenten season. I need to see the money first. Oh, really? Merchandise is of the purest quality. I'm glad to know. It was really good doing business with you. Send the world to your boss. I hope to see him someday. Searching, are you sure? Oh, 
what do I do? Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Please relax. I I saw you in there and I couldn't help. I mean, your beauty took me off my feet, so I just wanted to say hello, you know, get to know you. Oh. <laughs> and there I was, I'm thinking the policeman was chasing me. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> but are you okay? You don't look that fine to me. I mean, you look pale. Uh, I'm, um, I'm, no, actually I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I, I just suddenly had this headache. Yes, it just took over me and I, I, I don't know how I'm going to drive. I'm afraid something might happen. Um, if you don't mind, uh, well, I'm not harmful as you can see. I could take you home, that is, if it's not too far away from here. You do that? Of course, I mean, that's why we are there. I would like that very much, thank you. All right, okay, then uh, give me a minute. Uh, I want to speak with my partner. Bosco, don't worry, I have it under control. I was uh, honored to, you know, drive you home. I hope you are feeling better. I kind of. And I hope I'm going to see you again. I hope so. I know so. What's your name again? Uche. Uche. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. forgive you, okay? I was just calling to find out whether I could take you out to dinner or something. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Uche. Uche. I just got back from a business trip and I'm really tired. So, maybe some other time. Yes, I just want us to, you know, start knowing each other. You know, get rolling, you know what I mean. Yes, I'll try. Okay. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye.
Bella, Mrs. Bella. Hello, Juliet. How are you? Mrs. Bella, I promised to go to my birthday party. Oh, I did. Oh. So sorry, I had to travel for a business meeting. That's the type of edition my birthday. You did? Oh, thank you so much, Juliet. You know what? I promise I'll get you a birthday gift. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Well, well. My dear Isabella, that little girl seems to be well taken with you. I have no idea why. are doing a very good job. Keep it up. Thank you, Andres. Now tell me, how many of these children are ripe for harvest? Well, let me see. Five of them, Andres, including Miss Isabella's touch bearer, Esther. Well, my dear, how does it feel to know that in, in, in a few days you'll be delivering your little love's organs? Mm -hmm. You know me, Your Grace. I don't let sentiments get to the way of business. That's my Isabella. You never cease to amaze me with such total dedication to business. I have no choice. It's how I earn a living. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> oh. Before I forget, uh, there will be a press coverage of the foundation in two days' time. And I want you to prepare for it because you'll be handling it. Press? Yes. Um, Your Grace, I doubt if the thing the organization is right now is publicity. Yes, you are very right. But believe you me, they've been on my neck for quite a, quite a while now. I have tried to fob them off with one excuse or the other. This can't go on forever. If we don't give them an interview now, they are going to become suspicious and then they will get on our necks. Even then, I don't think I'm the one for this job. Considering what I do, I think it's best if I just remain at the background. I shouldn't make my face very camera friendly, if you know what I mean. Yes, I think you have a very good point there. And uh, I will think about it to see if we cannot find another way around it. But meanwhile, Dr. Frederick, I want you to seal up every activity concerning the foundation after tomorrow's delivery. Is that clear? And we don't want to smell a rat. Oh, do we? That should be taken care of, your grace. No problem. Good. My dear. Wellspring Foundation is a charitable organization founded to cater for the, uh, for the well-being of the less privileged children, residents or otherwise. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, at this juncture I would like to make a statement. That uh, Wellspring Foundation is the brainchild of Archbishop Osuchi my humble self and I will also like to add that Wellspring Foundation is not under the auspices of the church as you ladies and gentlemen of the press seem to think sir does Wellspring have specific age range for the children they take in or does the foundation accommodate both infants and babies as well as teenagers uh, well um, at the center we take children from the ages of 6 to 18 and while and while they are staying with us we endeavor to train them train them in different disciplines to aid them on, on, on their sojourn in, in the outside world but 
World Spring Foundation does not stop there. It is renowned for charitable, the, the, the charity balls that it holds every year. It does that to raise funds for the welfare of infants in, in, the, in, in, in the various um, homes approved. Mr. Suji, I see some of the beds are empty. Do we take it to mean the foundation is running short of less privileged trays or is it selective? Well, Ms. Reporter, it's impossible to run out considering how many helpless children are out there. And as for being selective, no, we welcome every child. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if that is all, why don't we retire into the boardroom where a light refreshment has been arranged for you, shall we? Thanking me, man, for I am your Messiah come alive. What rubbish is that? Who died to make you a Messiah? Wait until you see this then. Miss Isabella Osuji, granddaughter of Archbishop Theophilus Osuji, founder of Wellspring Foundation, addresses a press conference held in honor of the less privileged children. Now, See whose picture is on this page and tell me if I'm not your Messiah. Oh my God. Thank you for bringing her alive again. Thank you. Oh, where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious to see Isabella? Me? Uh, this is Uche. Uche. Isa Isabella, where? We, we met at the. Oh, yes, the yes, yeah. of course. I'm so sorry. Hi. What are you doing here? You stay around? No, I actually passed by to say hi. I mean, hello. Hello. I just realized you're always giving me, you know, excuses not to step out with me and I I just pass by to just talk with you, I mean even if it's just a dinner or something uh, I'll be okay I'm sorry Uche my work takes a lot of my time, I have no room for socializing well, it's, it's obvious I can see that but I was thinking, you know everybody finds time to at least once in a while socialize so if you don't mind, I mean, just once, I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. Everybody socializes but me. I'm sorry, I can't. But nice to see you again. yourself. What are you doing here? It's a sunny day and I was just thinking, why not come get you and let's go have some fun. And if I said no? Well, as you can see, I don't give up. Aren't you supposed to be on duty or something? I took the day off just to make you happy. So please, let's not waste it, okay? 
Go change yourself and let's step out. Stop loving And I love you for loving me. So why don't you ever say it to me? I just did. I mean your own. But Che, you know how I feel about you, so don't pretend. In that case you wouldn't have any objection to my proposal. What proposal? Marry me, Bella. 
make me the happiest man on earth. I know I can offer you much because you have it all. But I give you my heart and my soul. I don't know what to say. Just say yes. Yes, um, if it'll make you happy, I'll marry you. I don't know what to say, um, but yeah, you won't regret this, okay? Talking about sisters, where is mommy? Where is she? That she can she hear my voice? I, I am. I'm sure she's. Ah, oh, I did, darling. How are you, my love? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, I heard your voice. I just dashed into the kitchen to go prepare some to entice you. <laughs> so how are you doing, my love? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Excuse me. You meet. Isabella, the woman of my dreams. Oh, I've been waiting. In fact, we are getting married soon, so I decided to just bring her over so you can have a look at her. That's Larry, my in-law, and this is Casey, my sister. It's very nice to meet you both. I'm impressed. <laughs> So, so what, what, what do we say? Congratulations are in order now, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, welcome to the family, Isabel. Thank you. Please sit, sit, sit. Happy to meet you, Isabel. Same So, tell me, Uche, how is it going on in the force? We are trying, you know, we are trying our best. It's just that the good guys have gone to rest. But I call it the calm before the mad dash. Yeah. Say that again. You know what? Your sister and I, we always get so worried anytime we hear that you're making a mad dash with the bad boys. So I, I, I take it Isabella is also in the force. Ah. A different kind of force. She works with the Wellspring Foundation. Oh. Wellspring Foundation. Mm -hmm. What is Wellspring Foundation? It's a charity organization. A charity organization based on what? We do practically the same thing any other charity organization does. Oh, okay. Yes? I'm on my way. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, I have to go due to calls. So soon? I thought you could just stay a while and, you know, you get to know them better. I know, I'm sorry. We can do this some other time. Okay. I'll see you at home. Bye, nice to meet you. Anyway! What do you think? Don't ask me! Excuse me, darling. Right back. Casey, what do you think? You don't like the idea of me getting married to Isabella? <laughs> OJ, <laughs> it's not the idea of you getting married. It's the idea of the girl you picked for a wife. What do you know about her? You just met her. <sighs> OJ. I don't need eternity to know her. Just one meeting is enough. That girl is not your type. Men looking at her, she's not your type. How do you know? I mean, this is a woman I love and I cherish. I mean, how can you just guess? You know, it's amazing how you allow the glamour around that girl to just blind you. That girl is not your type. Well, she's agreed to marry me, so that ends it. Okay? I love her and I, I cherish her, so please, get used to it. 
pay. Okay. Thank you. If you say so. She's the woman of your choice. And you want to marry her. If you don't mind, excuse me, let me go finish up my cooking. Casey, Casey. The organization is planning a fundraiser for this weekend. So I was sent on an errand to pick up the Nigerian ambassador to Dubai. He's going to be the chairman of the occasion. And your grandfather didn't get anybody by you, huh? I guess. Why? Well, I understand him. Meaning? I'm sure the ambassador started uh, signing his check when he saw you. Are you trying to imply it's that my grandfather is pimping me out? It's a compliment, my dear. I mean, you are sweet. But I think you have a point. Well, come to think about it, I've been wondering. Do you think I should ask for a raise? Uh, it will help us. Look at you. <laughs> oh, God. Sweetie. Yeah. I've been thinking. If we do get married, when we get married, do I have to move in here with you? Oof. Big question. Small answer. What do you want? Well, um, um, I have to confess I'm kind of sentimentally attached to my house, so I was hoping we'd stay there. If that's okay with you. As you wish. Anything for you, Come dear. So, have you eaten? Um, yes and no. You just want my cooking, don't you? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Yes, but I'm afraid he will not be able to see you. He had a very busy night. I see. Please let him know I'm around. I just told him that he had a And I said... <sighs> Never mind. Mrs. Isabella! Mrs. Isabella! Yes, it was. Good. And you enjoyed yourself with our Minister of Information? Tremendously. Good. And the documents I require? I have it. Well, well, well. In here is inform all the information on the deal between the federal government and South Africa. Mm. And there's a signed document by the South African delegates yes. to export 150,000 barrels to South Africa. Wow. 
quarterly. Ah. Well, 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 my dear. Once again, you have surpassed yourself. Now I can pull the rug from under their feet and they wouldn't know anything about it. Well done. Well done, my daughter. Now tell me, what present can I give you for a job well done? I've decided to get married. I want your blessing. <laughs> You yourself know that is not possible. I mean, why don't you ask me something else and I'll make sure it goes through. Like um, going to America, going to Russia, to Iceland, to uh, Australia. No, no, that is my problem, Your Grace, and you know it. <laughs> Besides, why is marriage out of the question? For the kind of job that you do? Oh, don't be absurd. You know, it is not possible. Even in a rare case of love? Love? <laughs> you? Love is not for people of your kind. Your kind of people don't have any heart at all. Oh no. You are too calculating. I am calculating, Your Grace, and I have calculated well. I can take care of myself. All I want is your blessing. Don't be so greedy, my girl. You don't love this man. You only love the idea of the security that he represents. You just want to use this man. Remember, I know you very, very well. I may not disrespect your grace, but in this case, you don't know me at all. I have made up my mind and I will marry Uche. With or without my blessing. That is totally up to you. Like you know, I have never disrespected you. Nor gone against your wishes. So, please don't let me start now. And your job? Remains unaffected. My personal life will remain totally unconnected to my job. Besides, if you think about it, Uche's job might actually come in handy someday, saying that he's a police officer. to hear my man admit he can't do without me. Well, nothing wrong. See? Only if she says it nicely. Yeah, just nice. You promised you'd speak to your old man about us, did you? Yes. And? And he wasn't exactly taken to the idea of uh, marriage. I knew that was going to happen. And you would definitely object. What was his reason this time? That I'm meaning it because of your money? No, come on. What did you expect? I mean, you think he would gladly consent to a marriage he barely knows anything about? Well, I think, I mean, it's not a dream of every man to just make sure his daughter gets married at the right time and properly. Uh, yes, but my grandfather kind of thinks differently. How different? Well, my grandfather is very possessive over me. He sees me as an asset, so I guess he's afraid marriage might interfere with my work. Hmm. All right. So let's do it this way. The next time you see him, just tell him, I will not interfere with your shadow, okay? I love you and I want to marry you. He can keep you and you work for him, okay? But trust me, I will not interfere with your shadows, okay? I'm sure he'll be glad to hear that. Yes. I'm on my way. Sorry, baby. Need to call. Gotta go. 
I just got here. He's the boss. I just take out orders. I was thinking we could spend a couple of hours together since I'll be going to work soon. I thought we agreed this will not be a problem. Yeah, yeah, I know, but... All right, okay. Tell you what. Why don't we go together? You sure? So you'll be okay if I change before we go? Because I'll be going to work afterwards. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Right. So you change. about you from the underground world. I was here, I appreciate it. This is not why we're here, Maxwell. Do you have the information I need? Yeah, I do. But I must demand a pretty penny for Maxwell. <sighs> Maxwell, you know money has never been the issue. I was here, you're, you're a good customer, okay? <laughs> okay, 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 wait, wait. What do I have here? What's going on in the underground world that uh, the federal government has actually cushioned who is doing the Springfield Foundation and that the activities are not only on charity after all? Or do you want the gory details? Nope, I just need to ascertain the authenticity of this claim and who has beheaded this investigation. <sighs> Baby, it wounds me that you don't believe me, sweetheart. But Max never lies, okay? Or do you think that anyone who's been on drugs in Esplanade can have the federal government on their tail? And who is the federal government in this case? Well, here we're talking about the NDLEA and the new Police Bureau of Investigations set up to investigate all organizations with questionable repute. you were paid the last time. Hope you're happy. Well, hey, uh, I'm actually wondering what the Archbishop of such a reputable church would do in spearheading a mafia school like that. My business here is done. My fiance. And besides, you have to admit his presence made things normal. Well, 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 yes, but not, not, not enough to warrant such recklessness. I mean, his presence could have ruined our mission. And I don't like your association with that boy. And any any relationship that we might have with, with, with authorities. 
I, we can do without. I can handle Uchi. And use him. If only you give me the go ahead to marry him. Oh, Isabella. Why do you insist on this foolhardy venture? Marriage to an officer for whatever reason is a reckless thing that will affect your performance and I do not like it. It will not affect my job and I can promise you that. As things are nice, these men you want, you can take a peek. Those men are business and will remain so. I want Uche for kids. Speaking of business, what do you intend to do about this Snoopy IG of police and the NDLA chairman? Eliminate them if they refuse diplomacy. But I shall make them offers that they cannot refuse. <laughs> I am not ready to relinquish power yet. I have not achieved my aims. Well, if elimination is the end result, you know I'm always willing to do your bidding. Oh, my dear, I can always come to you, I know. On the condition that you give me the go-ahead to marry Uchi. Foolish girl. You are the only one in this world who can give me conditions. Well, seeing that um, you have replaced, refused to give, to, to, to give in on this matter of this uh, police boyfriend, well, I, I shall think about it. But you will pay me something twist in my arms. I wasn't expecting it any other way, Your Grace. And I'm sure that's why you love me the most. Foolish girl. <laughs> Hello, baby. I have good news. What's that? Guess. <sighs> I'll give you a clue. What's the one thing you've been wishing for for quite a while? You? Hey. Are we getting married? Yes. Y you mean it? Yes. Oh! <laughs> okay. He finally gave his consent. Yes, he did. Oh, this calls for a celebration, right? I agree. One minute! Secret. I'm sorry, I, I got carried away. Not that I don't want you to smoke, but I just don't want to lose you to any kind of cancer, you know. Please. But when you put it like that, it's very sweet. Okay. Alright, so. Okay. There you go. To us, to marriage, to love. Mm. That sounds good. Okay. What are you waiting for? Baby, I love you. I love you too. Let me serve it. I always say.
Natasha and Yvonne. Welcome. Um, Where is Isabella's friends? Or colleagues, if you put it that way. Okay, I see. We actually heard about her engagement party and we decided to come and celebrate with her. Oh, okay. Okay. And you are? They call me Uche. Her fiancé. Oh, okay. All right, um, let's go in. I'll call her for you. Okay. All right. Isn't it good that we came back early? I mean, would we have missed all this? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a shame that you didn't tell us about your engagement party. If I didn't know you better, I would say that you didn't want anybody to know. I wonder if His Grace knows. Does he? Actually, Yvonne, the Archbishop is fully aware and has given his blessings. Oh. Mm. Let me introduce you formally to my man. These are my friends, oh, yeah. Yvonne and Natasha. Hi. Hi. This is Uchi. They were just about to leave. But I thought they just came in. Yes, but they have somewhere they have to be right now. No. Well, you see, Isabel, Yvonne and I actually came to say hello. Um, we have somewhere important to go to. Okay. So you guys have a lovely evening. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Thank right. you for coming. Thanks. Bye. 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 So hard for me to swallow, seriously. What is it, Yvonne? What are you going on about? You were there, Natasha. Are you trying to tell me that you didn't see the veiled insult Isabella threw our way? But you asked for it. What do you mean? But of course you asked for it, Yvonne. I mean, I told you it was a bad idea when you came up with the gate crashing her engagement party, but you wouldn't listen. I mean, considering the rivalry between you two, I don't blame her for feeling threatened and striking as she did. Well then, don't be too surprised if I decide to strike back again. Mm. <laughs> Isabel, you know, has never been an easy adversary, Yvonne. And that's why the Archbishop loves her so much. That is the problem. That is the crux of the matter. Why does His Grace favor her so much? I mean, we all came from the gutters, didn't we? So what is so special about her that she keeps breaking all the rules and getting away with it? There you go again, Yvonne. There you go again. What are these rules that Isabella keeps skipping? What are they? Because I can't seem to remember. Well, for one, the girls of the organization are not supposed to get married. But what has she done, if not push herself to the altar and to hell with the organization? But you heard that, Yvonne, the Archbishop has given her the go-ahead. I mean, maybe it's all it works for, for business purposes. Natasha, somehow I really don't believe that. But I tell you what, I will try as much as possible to find out every information I can. And if my suspicions are affirmed, I will enjoy being the torn in the flesh of Isabella's marriage. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to know what you mean by that, Yvonne. But like I said, Isabella, you know, has never been an easy adversary. So be careful what you wish for, or else you might not like what you get in return. <laughs> Whatever. I'm... It's just a friendly advice. Only. said you have some information that will be of interest to me. Yes, Your Grace. But it's nothing difficult or serious that you cannot handle, really. Ah. It's just a little matter of Isabella flaunting the rules and deciding to get married. I had a feeling that you had no knowledge of it, so I thought it wise to let you know. Oh, are you sure, really? Yeah. Yvonne? 
The tongue of the just is choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. I brought you all up to love one another. You hate Isabella, why? No, your highness. I don't hate Isabella, really, far from that. It's just that I'm very concerned that she might be getting in over her head and I'm very worried that her overconfidence will result in her downfall as well as the organization, that's all. Mm. He that hideth hatred with lying lips and uttereth slander is a fool. Yvonne? Well, it's no secret that you've always favored Isabella more than you do to the rest of us. <laughs> Your Grace, I'm only asking for you to give me a chance to prove to you that I am more than a match for her. I can take over her assignments and even do them better, really, now that she has failed. Oh, my dear child. I have never doubted your tenacity. But I am not looking for a replacement for Isabella. She remains the head. Married or not? No. Not that she has agreed in marriage to love no other man other than her husband. No. What is marriage after all? A piece of paper written, signed, and can be locked up in a, in a safe immediately and forgotten. <laughs> I am becoming even interested in this uh, marriage thing. Yes. Uh, it's... it's, 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 it's it um, puts a different complexion on things. I see. I just hope that your faith in Isabella will not be misplaced. Because at the rate at which she is going, she might end up failing all of us. And then you will remember that I told you so. Well then. May I be permitted to take my leave? Yes, my dear child. You may. And remember, in all things, let peace reign. I always believe that fate should be allowed to take its course. I came to pick up the casserole dish. I forgot the last party. Go inside. It's in the kitchen somewhere. Hmm. I didn't know you smoke. And you do it so well. There's a lot you don't know about me, Casey. Oh. Now that you mention, yeah, I don't. And why? You know, because the more I try to figure you out, the more enigma you become. Well, isn't it about time you stopped attempting to figure me out and just take what you see? <laughs> you know that's not possible, Isabella. Come on. You may have succeeded in fooling my brother. I'm blinding him into believing you. But me? Uh-uh. You can't. You can't fool me. Because I believe there exists some murky water in this perfect personality of yours. If that was your attempt at a threat, didn't work. You see, Casey, Uche is where I want him to be. And a thousand of you can't wrestle him from my hold. Your hold? 
your hold, Isabella? <laughs> is that how you see your relationship with my brother, Uche? Does it seem like some, so, like some poodle you put in a cage and then you bring it out to fiddle with whenever you so wish? If you choose to call your brother a poodle, that's fine by me. But I can assure you, he is one happy poodle. And he loves his cage very much. You know, I'm tired of this conversation. I'll go get your casserole. You just wait here. brother know you smoke? That was the question. Does your husband Larry know everything you do, Casey? Oh, don't answer that. Yes, and that makes you the fool. Casey, I must warn you, I will not tolerate an attempt to ruin my relationship from you or anyone else with Uche. So I suggest you and I continue to pretend to be happy sister-in-laws, just for peace sake. With all due respect, what you're proposing, Your Grace, is absolutely impossible. The Wellspring Foundation having been formed under the auspices of the Anglican Church as a charitable organization, has turned around to be an uncharitable source of concern for this nation. As it has involved itself in crimes like drug trafficking, espionage, and all what not. In a situation like this, you will agree with me, as a matter of fact, that the organizations must be shut down with as much ease as possible. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm sure it has not come to that. It is true that Wellspring has been a charitable organization for as many years as I care to remember. It is true that it's a, an organization that has won a lot of acclaim throughout the world. Uh, <laughs> but it hurts me no less that slanderous accusations have been leveled against an organization that's been my singular brainchild for the good of mankind. I'm afraid that is not true, Your Grace. What we brought before you is not an accusation. It is a well-investigated fact with damning consequences. As a Christian myself, I, I, I am disappointed. And I see it as my duty to wipe off the shame that you brought on the church community. Well, are we not saying the same thing? <laughs> I mean, what I was proposing and still is proposing is that you give me a little time to investigate these allegations, to find out who in my organization is trying to turn the work of God you know, into mockery. Gentlemen, I am giving you three million naira each just to buy me some time so that I can carry out this investigation and find out the culprit. And when I do, it shall be well punished. Thank you for that stunning offer, Your Grace. But I'm afraid we must refuse you. Because, you see, the federal government is now in the pursuit of this matter. And by this time, Monday morning, it will be brought to the table of the EFCC and the IG of police for a proper course of action. Gentlemen, it doesn't have to come to that. I have made you an offer that I'm sure <laughs> you cannot possibly refuse. Why don't you accept my offer? You know, as against the consequences of your refusing me. Should we perceive that as a threat, Your Grace? Mm, 
it's a threat. No, I only charge you to be wise. For if we are wise in all things, we inherit glory. But fools inherit shame. Don't be fools, gentlemen. Just a little discretion and you will be well rewarded. Thank you very much, Your Grace. It is only a fool who would not understand the, the threat encased in your little words of wisdom. Be that as it may, let me tell you that World Spring Organization is on its way down and there is nothing you can do about it. We shall be on our way now. You will be hearing from us very soon. Um, by the way, it has been brought to our notice that a market has been established for spare parts. Human spare parts. I hope World Spring Organization is not involved. They must leave tomorrow. But boss. What? You seem to have forgotten something. What? Tomorrow, Isabella is getting married. It's of little consequence. She will go after the deed. Now get to it. Okay, boss. nothing about the absionates and the drug trafficking. That man is a bloody sanctimonious liar. All the things he said were all lies. I wouldn't be surprised if we discover that he is also heading the organization that is involved in human past trafficking. Do you know what amazes me the most? Is that all this is being done by a referred personage in the commission of the most high. And I still find it hard to believe myself that the Archbishop is the one who mastermind the Wellspring organizations on the hard deals. He is not only the mastermind, he is also a son of a bitch who is covering up his shady deals under charity works for the benefit of mankind. People like that are not supposed to walk the face of the earth. Well. Whatever may be the case, let's just hope that the fact, as much as we have been able to gather, will be enough to put him behind bars. <laughs> and don't forget, he's a powerful man and must have connections in high and low places. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not afraid of him. As long as our informant remains true to his words and is able to bring us enough incriminating evidence against him, we have nothing to worry. Let me tell you, the police is all out to nail these people. Yes. I just hope so. Although I'm a little bit scared of what the Archbishop is capable of doing. <laughs> well, you can go ahead and worry. As for me, I, think, um, I need to relax. And um, when we are doing this, let me call up this escort girls. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point there. And I'm sure you're not going to be left out. <laughs> Cheers, my brother. Mm. <laughs> and how do I look, man? Do I look like ready to hit the aisle? Well, you're as good as you look. 
But hey, get a grip on yourself before you go bust with that excitement I see in your eyes. Well, is that apparent, huh? Well, for everyone that has eyes to see, yes. You can't blame me now. I'm getting married to the woman I love. Huh? I mean, tell me, how many guys get that lucky? <laughs> <laughs> it was the same for Casey and I. And your, your getting married today brings in all coming back. Larry. Don't even think about having a second wedding oh, <laughs> or using my wedding for your uh, renewal of vows. Uh-uh. <laughs> cool. Let's go, right. man. I need to have a peep at my babe. Hey, haven't you heard what they say? Who? It's bad omen to see the bride before the vows. I don't believe in that tradition. Thank you. Now, let's go. Hey, but hold on. Hey, hold on. Where is your best man and why is he not here now? the moment. My priority is my bride. Let's go. You don't say I didn't want you now. Don't say I didn't. Yourself. I just can't wait to see you at church. Nothing will stop me, I promise. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Let's go. I don't want to see you guys in here again! There's a new development box. Yes, let me have it. Well, your boss, haven't wired both the police CIO and NDLEA chairman, our time for line. We're able to intercept all the call made through the dancer escort servicing and find a way to deal with them. Hmm. Hmm. Finally, the fall from grace. Have you informed Isabella yet? No, your boss. We're waiting for your instruction. Now I want you to inform her immediately. It is done, your boss. Tell her that I want her and Yvonne to pose as damsel escorts. Tell her I want her to do a good job. And I want all the information, and I repeat, all the information about the organization. Is that clear? It is done, your boss. He who keepeth his mouth and tongue keepeth his soul free of trouble. Yes? You have a duty to perform. A job is on the line. T today? It's my wedding day for Christ's sake. He said to tell you this is how to pay for twisting his hand. You have just two hours. I think you can make it.
Katya, please. Can't you just wait? It's kind. I already told you. I have to go. I promise I'll be back. Is it about your grandfather? Yes. Yes, it's, it's about my grandfather. Just let me go, okay? I'll be back. Bella, I have this gut feeling you're gonna come still dressed in your wedding gown. So I thought, what the heck? Why not dress the part too? Hmm. Cheap bridesmaid, the desperate moment. What information do we need? Yes. The police CIO and his friend are at the moment lodging at the Rakra Hotel. They put a call through to the downstairs escort servicing, requesting for two of their best. Now, the girls are supposed to arrive at the hotel by 3 p.m. 3. Is this loaded? Yes, yes. Um, 12 rounds, just in case. Okay. Well, um, the Archbishop wants both of you to get all information on the CIO and his, and his friend retrieved. I hope you girls do a good job. Do we always? <laughs> all right, then. Let's Bye. go. Bam's Hell has good services. We have to see cheap and see what else. Okay, and your names are? Mary and the Cherry, but to see the CIO and the NDLE chairman. Do you know the room number? Okay, don't worry, I'll check that for you. It's over. I said this from now, but I said this from now. I said this from now. Hi. What is the room number for my ask? Just have my room keys, please. Oh, that bastard has come to me! I can't wait! Please go down! Sorry, are you with her? Sorry, can I have my room keys, please? So if I use this wood, I'm going to use this wood! Oh my goodness! You can have it. That's not my room number. Can I have my room keys? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, you are. Sorry. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Wait, it's off! Since you are the chief vice maid, come to the best man. <laughs> I come to think of it. I never really enjoyed my wedding night. So I think um, you will prove better than the other bride. <laughs> Darling. Yes. I can assure you 
my touch is to die for. I love the skin. Thank you. Come on, honey. Let's see if you or the brat who will prove to be the artist. <laughs> well, in that case, let me get ready for the action. <laughs> good, good, good. So, so. Is ready. Let's go and eat while we wait for her, okay? Come on. Food is the last thing on my mind, sister. Oh. I mean, how can you even suggest food by this time when my Isabella is missing? Oh. I will say that. Isabella is not missing. Wherever she is right now, she's there on her own accord. You don't seem to get it, my sister. I can feel it in my bones. Look, there must be something wrong. Look, that's the point. There is nothing wrong. Isabella has always been planning to run away from you after the wedding ceremony. What do you mean by that? I overheard, okay? I just dropped on a phone conversation with some guy called Bosco to come and pick her up after the wedding ceremony. When was this? A few minutes before the wedding. Hey, I don't get it. Are you trying to insinuate that my Isabella is cheating on me and has been cheating even before our wedding vows? Okay. That's not what I'm saying. The picture Isabella has always been trying to paint for you is not real. Trust me. I feel it in my bones that that girl is going to hurt you so bad that like you won't be able to stand it. God. I don't get you, Casey. Instead of you to be sympathetic with me because I have lost the only woman I love who ran away from me moments after my wedding, you are here trying to fabricate lies against her. That's the point. She is not missing, she just left. You know what? Just go look for your bag and leave, okay? I want to think. What are you asking me out of your house? Casey, I want to think, okay? What are you asking me to leave your house? Please leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. But don't, don't say I didn't tell you. have the nerve to ask whether there's anything wrong? Or you think by creeping to bed last night, I would just forget about everything? Do you know what he did to me? Happened to watch you, my bride, walk away minutes after exchanging vows. Do you know what that means to me? I'm sorry, but I can explain. You better explain well. I mean, imagine the humiliation I went through, having to explain to every guest not to get a wrong impression about us. I mean, how on earth can you do that? Correcting the wrong impression. Uh, I understand how you feel, believe me. I hated myself for leaving you the way I did, but I needed to go. Something came up. I I got news that my grandfather was ill and he had to be flown abroad last night for treatment. I had to be with him. And you expect me to believe that? Why would I lie? Ochi, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you think I ran away to be with someone else, isn't it? And so what's wrong if I think so? Now, why would I run off to be with someone else on my wedding day? Not before, not after. And in broad daylight, in, in the presence of people. Okay, give me some credits. If you didn't go to see anybody, who was that guy who called you minutes before the ceremony? Guy? A guy called Bosco. Bosco? Bosco is my grandfather's male servant, okay? His name is John Bosco. We, we call him Bosco. He's one who called me and told me my grandfather fell ill getting ready for my wedding. I see. 
No, I'm the one who sees. You, you don't believe me and you don't trust me. And that really hurts. What are you starting to believe? Listen to yourself. You left me unattended to. I didn't know what to think. I was thinking something bad had happened to you. I was getting I worried. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but try and understand. I had to go. My grandfather felt ill getting ready for my own wedding. I felt responsible. Look, he's the only family I've got. Well, that's until you came. I'm sorry. Julian. It's okay. You just got me worried because. So, how is he doing? Well, uh, last I checked, he was holding his own. But he'll pull through. He's a fighter, I know. So. Saying that um, today is like a honeymoon and we're spending it in bed all day. After breakfast. See that from your face. <laughs> By the time you get to go see what's going on. Anyway, what are you doing here? I mean, aren't you supposed to be in Kano? Well, Kano headquarters decided I was too good for them, so they transferred me back here. And guess what? I have been reinstated as your partner. You see? It's me and you again. <laughs> it's hard time you did it. I mean, you were here earlier. I mean, you could have been my person. Yeah. Best man. Not to worry. I'll still be a godfather to your son or daughter. Come the next time. Nine, nine months? No, eight months. I have not oh. started that yet. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that. What are you doing? Um, okay, what's that? No, sir. Um, according to the cleaner, she said first they had gunshots, then pandemonium in the whole hotel. Then when she came to clean the hotel, she found two dead bodies. Although I feel she's so scared to have bone marrows that she wouldn't even remember a thing. That is, if there's anything to remember. I guess you would be scared too. I mean, if you open your door one day and you find two dead bodies. Um. I'm thinking this has a signature of a professional assassin. What do you think? Yeah, I guess you're right. I think the forensics won't find anything but their own fingerprints. Oh boy. Whoever arranged this for the police investigating chief and his friend must have more than a thing in for them. I guess they never saw this coming. Let's check the reception if we can get any more information. Yes, sir. Tell us exactly what happened. Oh, the, the men called up the popular escort service in town and demanded for some girls and they ordered me to pass it into the suit, and which I did. What were their names? Charlie and Mary. <laughs> Funny names. 
So, when did these girls leave? At about when I left the hotel to my home, they were still there, so I assumed they were spending the night there. Okay. Was there anything outside the ordinary? I mean, any exit or entrance that looked suspicious to you while you were still on duty? No, not really. Alright, if we need more information, we'll come back, okay? Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. There... You asked if there was any witness, entrance or exit. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I remember something. There were these two ladies that came in. Immediately, the dance girls entered. And... She was dressing, one was dressing like a bride and the other one as a maid of honor. Yeah. That's the way they looked, huh? What time of the day did they come in? Mm, that was about half past three, yeah. Assuming these were guests, what are their names and what rooms they were led lodged into? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I did ask for their names. But they asked for room 118. And about when I checked the list on my system, the man that was there with his family checked out at about 12 noon that day. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, sir? The plot is thickening. Come on, we'll call back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. On a, on a murder case. Murder? Yeah. Hmm. What happened? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. Hmm. Guess who got themselves murdered? Guess. Anybody I know? The new police CIO and the NDLEA chairman. Wow. Yeah. No kidding. It's horrible. So, do you guys have any leads as to who might have done this? Not really, but uh, we have a clue. I mean, the receptionist says that two unregistered guests entered the same hotel that afternoon. Mm -hmm. And they were dressed as a bride and a maid of honor. The bride and maid of honor? <laughs> You're surprised, right? Yes, I mean, who goes about killing people dressed as a bride and maid of honor, you know? I mean, it's like making a mockery of the whole wedding thing. I think for that alone, these guys should be found and punished. What makes you think they were guys? Well, aren't they usually? Hmm. The receptionist says there were two young, beautiful ladies. Hmm. Female assassins. <laughs> wow, that's a new one. In fact, I think that's really cool. You seem to like it. Well, I mean, yes. You guys seem to have all the fun. Let's the ladies do something once in a while. The change will be bad. <laughs> well, I think this time they agree with you. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, they got the whole office busy and everybody's running helter-skelter. Just trying to sort it out. Well, I think that should help add some spice to your boring job. Who said my job is boring? Can't we? But honey, you do have a boring job. What do you do? Go about chasing bandits. Get them off the street for okay. your sake. <laughs> <laughs> Give you for your little indiscretion, just like the other time. I don't think it's any of your business, Yvonne. Tell me something. Why did you marry the poor guy in the first place? At least I know it's not because of love. Because you and I both know that you don't even have a heart, let alone have feelings. So how is that possible? Do I detect a tinge of jealousy in your voice, Yvonne? 
Well, hell no. Well, since you asked, I will tell you. Okay. Aside from the fact that Uche is good for business, I married him to see if I could um, experience that normal side of life. The one that the likes of you and I can never dream of having. To see if I could have the best of both worlds. And you know what? I did it and I accomplished it. I have the love of a normal man who, by the way, thinks I'm the best thing since sliced bread. And um, I'm having a ball, which, my dear, is way more than you can ever dream of achieving, if you did. I should uh, like to say to you all that I am very pleased. Pleased with all of you because the organization is doing very well. And I must not fail to mention the fact that this is due to all of you, to all your committed services to the works of the Almighty in offering help to mankind. In this regard, our human parts network is a great testimony but as all good doers there are always people amongst them who will turn around and betray them a case in point is that of the late cio of police and the late ndlea chairman made their sinful souls rot in hell. I feel it in my guts. I feel it in my guts that some people from our bosom have been feeding them with information about this organization. I say to you, these people are not fit to live on the face of the earth. Like Judas, they must hang to die. Basco, Bruno, Jumbo, I want this modern day Judas found. And I mean, as soon as possible. Have no fear, Your Grace. We get the misgrant as soon as possible. He must surely pay. Good. Now to the actual execution of these two bastards. I would like to congratulate Isabella and uh, Yvonne for a job well done. Well, uh, first of all, thank you, Your Grace. Although we were not able to retrieve the file containing information against the organization. Oh, well, the bloody sons of bitches. My sentiments, exactly. In fact, I think they wanted to make sure we remain suspect if anything happened to them. Especially now they state in investigating their murder. Yes, you're right. But ladies and gentlemen, I say to you, in cases like this, we must remain calm and undaunted. We tighten our nets and keep our ears to the ground to make sure there are no surprises. In this regard, Isabella, you will help us report any new development through your husband. Will do, Your Grace. Good. Um, what is the next item? 
Um, your Grace. I thought I should bring to your notice that our supplies of human organs at the lab are seriously depleting. And our clients, the Oregon Hearts Foundation, are in their need of supplies. And they are looking to order from some other people in their business. No, no, no. Oregon. Oh, yes. Oregon. We must do everything we can to make sure they are happy. We cannot afford to lose Oregon. They are our biggest client yet. Um, if I may suggest to your grace, I think we should make a larger percentage of the cultivation during the festive period, like Christmas, because um, that's when people are led to believe ritual killings take place by politicians and businessmen alike. That way, nobody looks our way. Hmm. Yes, it's a good idea. But we cannot limit our cultivation to Christmas period alone. It will seriously deplete our stock. Not if we minimize our clientele and tread with caution while cultivating during the off-season. And in the meantime, we register under phony names, under these public children activities, you know, and we lure children to us, pick and choose. That way, nobody's the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's an excellent idea. Thank you. My dear, I have no doubt you have inherited your grandfather's brain. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Any, any other point? I can't take this. I really can't take what this is what about. about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're so worked up about. You know what? Whenever it comes to Isabella, you never seem to see. I'm beginning to suspect that you actually admire her. Really? Yes. The reason why you hate Isabel and everything about her, I know. Can't you see? Can't you see that Isabella is just a low-down glory seeker who is going about making suggestions when nobody asks for her opinions and then trying to make the rest of us look like non-entities? Well? That wasn't the impression I got. Everyone, including the Archbishop, was impressed by her ideas. And if you forget your hatred for one minute, you'll find that she's made sense. And besides, no one stopped you from bringing in your own ideas. I pity you. I pity you. You know why? Because you still don't understand the kind of person Isabella is. She's grabbing all the doors for herself. Tell me something. How many assignments have you had in a while? None. And yet you still don't get my point. You know what? Maybe when you become an expendable asset in the organization, and then you would say, I told you so. Well, you don't have to be worried about me, Yvonne. If you look away for a minute and find out the beef between you two, then chew it up and swallow it before it gets you into trouble. Excuse me. I've had enough for one day, please.
baby. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been wondering. You know, these rumors going about your grandfather and the foundation, are they really true? Rumors? What rumors? You mean you haven't heard your foundation is being seen as a den for drugs? Organ trafficking and high grade prostitution and all that? What? Where did you hear such rubbish? From the office, of course. And if you must know, Wellspring Foundation is in the black book of the police. And your grandfather is being seen as a suspect for most of the crimes going on. And you believe that? Well... I don't know. Well, honey, baby, look at me. I work for Wellspring Foundation. Now, does anything about me indicate prostitution or murder? Of course not, my dear. So what are you talking about? I don't believe this. This is a slander on the good intentions of the foundation. We are talking about my grandfather here, an archbishop, a man ordained by God. Think about it, it's insane. I don't know, I mean, I guess you're right, okay? The more I think about it, the more ridiculous it seems to me. But hey, please, don't blame the police, okay? They don't know you or your grandfather more than I do. Well, the police had better correct that impression before it gets out, because if it does, trust me, even the force is not above the law. Or the wrath of God, for that matter. Hey, hey, he hasn't gotten to that yet. I mean, we are talking about the law here. Law. Tell that to the police who clearly have nothing better to do. Hey, you look too pretty when you're angry. Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Diani Wadansian. Oh, I did cut me. Is the money in place? Yes, but uh, we need certification to know if these uh, organs are in top shape. Of course. Can I see them? By all means. SDF Alpha 760. Confirmed. But do you know it almost defeats the purposes of these organs when you think of the little lives that are wasted in order to acquire them? Don't you think it's better they give up their organs now they're still young and fresh rather than later when they've destroyed them with drinking and smoking? You don't really mean that. Do you? My business here is done. Good day, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. 